get my lips done. I'm gonna get 0.5. Um, this is what they look like right now. The last time I got my lips done was in June, so it's been like the six month mark for me to get them topped up. But yeah. Cupid's bow a little bit sharper. They're always amazing. Okay. Oh my god. Half a syringe. That's it. <gasps> oh. Uh um, so I am done with my appointment. Um I did not get any of the what is that called? I don't numbing cream. Um he did that all no numbing cream just to the last time I did them, um, he also did not use numbing cream. It literally just feels like a pinch. The pain really and truly is not that bad. Um, if you've ever like popped pimples on your face or like anything like that or like on your lip, like that's just what it feels like. Um, but no, the process literally took six minutes today. Um, super easy, super quick. Um, but yeah, this is what it looked like. This is right after. In a couple of hours, it will swell up. I'll definitely show you guys that. Um, but yeah. Okay, so it's now 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, so it's been like 12 hours since I got them done. This is what they look like. They're a bit swollen. I haven't iced them or anything. I do look like Flappy Bird, but they're gonna go down. I do have peeling as well. Sorry for the shitty lighting. Um, I do have peeling, but it's normal, so it comes with it. These ones do hurt a bit more, uh, than the last two times. They're, like, sore, but yeah. This is me first thing in the morning. Um, I woke up not so long ago. I think it's like 11 something now. Um, Theo here. Um, it's just cause I went to bed so late cause I was up doing all these exams and assignments. My lips are swollen. I do have a tiny bit of bruising here. Um, my lips are pretty freaking big. Um, I am still having a lot of peeling, which is normal. Um, at one point last time I, got filler it did feel like it was stretching but don't have that feeling right now but feeling pretty good looks pretty good yeah it is lumpy um but that is normal as well but yeah this is what they look like this is basically one day after i know i look so disgusting right now theo was literally crying in the back because he wants food but my food Anyways, but this is what my lips look like. I do have a bit of bruising here, um, but that's about it. I do still have some peeling, not as bad, but I'm just keeping my lips moisturized just to prevent any like ripping or anything like that. But today there's no pain. Um, there actually has not been that much swelling, but I'm still gonna ice just cause there is a little bit of swelling. Don't mind my hair cause I look disgusting cause I took out my braids last night, but I was too lazy to wash my hair. So I'm gonna deep condition that. Um. Thank you, it's just. But I'm probably gonna do stuff and then we'll see how it looks throughout the day and I will see you guys later.
Hey guys, today is day four. I know I look horrible. I just finally decided to wash my hair because I took out my hair and did not wash it. Um, I'm currently watching um, To Catch a Predator and I'm making dinner. I'm making stew chicken because I'm starving. Um, but this is what my lips look like. Honestly, I did not have any swelling actually um, with the filler this time, which is like crazy. I did have, I do have some bruising very lightly right here. My disgusting skin. Um, but that's literally it. I don't really have any pain, but we'll see. I do have peeling, but that's literally it. But the swelling is like pretty, pretty good. I haven't even iced it. It's been staying hydrated, um, staying elevated as much as I can. Um, yeah, that's literally it. Um, I, it obviously does feel lumpy. Um, that's just how filler is when you first get it is lumpy. Uh, it does go away, but as you can see, it doesn't look lumpy. But yeah. Um, at the first day, it was a bit hard to make a kissy face. Now it's like, it's fine. Um, but yeah, this is honestly probably like the biggest I would go with my lips. Like I feel like this is just something that I would maintain this size. Like I wouldn't go anything bigger than this. Hey guys, I am back. Um, it's now been two weeks roughly maybe even three now since i've gotten my lips done um yeah this is what i look like disregard the my mustache and the hair on my face and my lip liner not being blended and theo drinking water in the background um so i'm gonna answer uh frequently asked questions i get about my lip fillers um or that i've gotten in the past i've never really made like a post filler video um talking about it or anything about it so yeah first question is where did i get them done i got my lips done at the derma bar um it's downtown toronto um you can look them up on instagram their at name is at the derma bar we have the doctor the doctor that did my lips is dr sammy i believe he's the only doctor at the derma bar um so if you do go there shouldn't be any like how much did it cost Cost two hundred and fifty dollars before tax. Um, I got 0.5 ml of Restylane Define. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know, but that's what I got. Did I get numbing cream? The first time that I went, which I do have up on my channel, I did get numbing cream, but I have gone in June and I've gone again, um, obviously three weeks ago, and I did not get numbing cream. The pain on a scale of one to 10, honestly, is like a two. If you ever get like pimples on your lip or anything like that, which I do all the time, um, it just feels like a pimple near your mouth or on your nose, like that kind of pinch. It's not even that bad. How did I explain what I wanted to the doctor? Um, honestly, I was like looking at lip fillers for the past like three years before I even got them because I've always been into care about my lips, even though everyone always says like, oh, you've always had lips. Um, I always just thought that they were really tiny and I just didn't like them um so I would look at photos of like Rihanna's lips I love like really defined cupid's bow or really defined lips and I just said I wanted to add like a little plump to my lip because I like how my lip look with lip liner and lip gloss but I didn't have that look without lip liner and lip gloss did the lumps go away yes the lumps go away within like the first month honestly I think it depends on each person like it's different for everyone it's not the same uh, cause the first time that I did get them, I did have lumps for about like, I don't even know, like a month and a half maybe. But this time I think I only have like one lump left and it's barely, barely even there. Um, it's right here. I can feel it. Um, but all the other lumps have gone away. Now that I've gotten my lips done, is there anything else I would do to my face? Um, probably not right now. Um, if I was to get anything, it would be Botox, but that would just to be to prevent uh, wrinkles on my face. But I don't think I'd get any filler anywhere else on my face just because I feel like I'm just so young and it's like, why would I get filler now? Like, wouldn't you get filler when you're older? I don't know. That's just me. Um, and I also don't want my face to look swollen. Like, that's the one thing that I don't want. Like, I feel like I have a somewhat of a chiseled face going on and I don't want to look like I wake up every day swollen so yeah um but if I was I'd probably get a bit of cheek filler and some chin and maybe a little bit on my nose yeah. but that's probably not gonna be until like when I'm like I don't know like 27 or something 
but not anytime soon I'll be getting any more filler in my face besides my lips. Why did you get fillers? Um, the reason why I got fillers is because I've always been so insecure about my lips. I've always hated my lips. I always thought I had tiny lips. Um, this is what my lips look, used to look like before. You know, we'll do a comparison. But, um, yeah, I just always thought I had such small lips. And I'm like, oh, like, you have such nice little lips. Like, your lips are full, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, no matter how much reassurance you get from other people, if you aren't, if you don't like something on yourself, you're obviously still not going to like it regardless of what everyone else says. Um, so, yeah, that's why I got lip filler. Because I hated my lips because I thought they were so tiny. Now they're not anymore. Yeah. Is it true you become addicted when you get fillers? And honestly... I think to a certain extent yes um, but when you start to do a lot of research and when you realize that these pages don't just post they only post the good um, customers and the good outcomes on their page they don't post the ones that just look regular or all right so you also have to keep that in mind that everything you see on Instagram is what they want you to see. After a lot of research, I realized that I wouldn't get any other filler in my face. But when I first got my lips done, I definitely was like, oh my god, like, so want to get filler in my cheekbones, my jawline, and my chin. Um, and then I obviously did my research and then realized that it's just not for me. And at the time, at the time, which means right now, I'm so young, um, that it's just not even worth it. Like, I'll just let my face be i know i've been mia on youtube honestly it's because i was struggling with the type of content that i wanted to post i just didn't know where i wanted to take my channel um and i was honestly just like really going through it like i was on vac not vacation i went well, i guess kind of vacation i went to go see my sister and then i came back and then i had no job i was stuck in quarantine and then nothing has ever gone back to normal ever since then um so obviously that's taken a toll on my mental health. And I definitely just have not been feeling the greatest about my appearance. Um, hence why I've been so like inactive on Instagram. I'm usually very active on Instagram. But I'm not anywhere. Now I am going to be starting the new year. That's one of my goals is to be consistent on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, yeah. And I also at first I just felt like people really weren't watching my videos and no one really cared to hear what I had to say and then now I've just had an enormous amount of support um yeah so people actually care to hear what I have to say um but yeah so if you guys have any questions comment them down below I'm always open to answering them like yeah um or you can DM them to me don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I will be posting videos weekly now, actually. I hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.